Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Donovan and today I want to talk about a pair of Bluetooth headphones from a company called Bleak. These are the Bleak Hummingbird wireless headphones. They're available right now on Amazon.com for $68. So kind of an interesting price point for a pair of headphones that are designed specifically for athletes. Uh, and the reason I say that is because they have that hook design that make them very uh, secure in your ear while you're sweating, while you're working out, whatever you might be doing uh, that might involve some kind of athletic movement. These things are fantastic for that purpose. All right, so before we actually start talking about the headphones, I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it's like to unbox these things because honestly, it's a pretty nice unboxing experience that you get with the Bleak Hummingbird wireless headphones. So you can see here the headphones, the logo, it doesn't just happen. Not really sure what they're getting at there, but here are the headphones themselves and we'll take a closer look at those in just a little bit. Um, but inside you get some uh, instruction booklets here, but then also one thing I liked that they came with they come with a little sticker with their logo there it is so quick start guide some warranty information by the way these do have a lifetime warranty so that's pretty cool you do have to register for that lifetime warranty but pretty awesome and uh, let's take that off to the side now this was really cool when i unboxed this i was pretty shocked i've never seen a pair of wireless headphones that came with so many tips so honestly you're gonna be able to find the tip that fits your ears perfectly so eight different tips so four here three here and then the ones that come are already in the earbuds. Now they do have a short micro USB cable, so that's kind of a little bit of a negative, um, but that's what you're gonna use to charge them up. And then I like this little leather case here that they come with as well, if I can get it. Um, so this is a leather case. We got a hard plastic over here on the side. And uh, so you can easily stick the headphones in there for, you know, carrying them around. So anyways, quick look at the unboxing experience, nice uh, accessories that they include with the Bleak wireless headphones. Now, I do want to go ahead and take a look at the back of the box because it shows some of the features that are important. So first of all, uh, of course, they're wireless Bluetooth headphones. Now, one thing I will mention here is the fact that they don't actually say anywhere uh, what wireless technology they're using. So I looked through all the pamphlets. Uh, I looked on their website even, can't find what they're using. I'm guessing Bluetooth 4.2, maybe 5.0, not really sure but my guess is Bluetooth 4.2. Ultra long battery life, so 14 and a half hours. And I will say that honestly, that is definitely accurate. Ambient mode. Now, this is one of the things that set these apart uh, from other wireless headphones. So this is very cool. Um, basically, uh, just a double click right here. So this is your, what is it called? The MFB, NFB, uh, whatever that multifunction. So MFB, multifunction button. And uh, double click on that one and it's going to give you ambient mode. So one just slight negative with that ambient mode is the fact that basically it's going to shut your music off, but it's going to amplify the music, anything that's going on around you, not music. It's going to amplify everything that's going on around you, almost acting as kind of like a hearing aid. Um, so, you know, let's say you're listening to some music, but someone comes up to you and talks to you, you can just double click real quick and uh, actually it's going to amplify them rather than blocking them out because these do have a lot of noise isolation. So if somebody's talking to you, even with music off, you may have a hard time hearing them, but just a quick double click of the ambient mode and uh, you're now being able to listen to whatever they have to say. So that's pretty cool. We also have quick charge. That's another thing that kind of sets them apart. Not every pair of wireless headphones have quick charge. In fact, some of them charge kind of slowly. Um, then we do also have sweat proof. I believe they're IP67 water resistant. And then again, I mentioned that already, that lifetime warranty, and then all the things that they come with, which is very cool. So now let's go ahead and talk about what these things have to offer. Oh shoot, I guess it's time to talk about the sound quality of these headphones. So let me just first off mention that I am no audiophile. So if you're looking for an audiophile's view of these headphones, then I'm definitely not your guy. However, I will say that uh, I've listened to a lot of different headphones, um, probably 50 plus pairs of headphones that I've reviewed uh, over the last few years. And uh, I gotta say that for me personally, these are definitely on the higher end of uh, sound quality. I'd give them like a 4.5 out of five. They're definitely not the best headphones I've ever listened to, but again, these are only $68, whereas the best ones I've listened to tend to be a little bit more expensive, uh, but they sound still very good. And I would say for like 99.9% .9 of the population, these are going to be 
just fine. So uh, a couple things worth mentioning. Number one, they do have a good amount of bass. Uh, vocals are very clear and also they're going to give you a lot of noise isolation because they do fit very tight. So honestly, I don't know how loud I'm talking right now because of how uh, isolating that noise is. So like I mentioned earlier, you do have that option for ambient noise. If you double click that MFB button, you can actually start hearing the outside uh, world that's going on around you. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Now, bass is definitely there. I already mentioned that, but the mids and highs are also quite crisp and clear as well. So overall, definitely sound signal signature is uh, something that I can give a recommendation to. All right, so now it's time to talk about the fit and feel of the Bleak Hummingbird wireless headphones. So a couple things I want to mention here about these. Number one, uh, because of the way they're designed, they're designed again for athletes in mind, they are going to fit very securely in your ears. So if you get super sweaty, whatever activity you might be doing, just keep in mind that they are going to be very secure no matter what you're doing. So those ear hooks, number one, are going to hold them in there. But then also because they fit so deep into your ear canal, that's also going to hold them nice and secure. But then also they have this little cinch. Um, that's going to help it uh, fit nice and securely as well into your ears as you're running or working out what you, whatever you might be doing. Now, a couple things worth mentioning about these, because they do fit so deep into your ear canal, I have found that over a long period of time, because again, these do last like 14 and a half hours for battery life, um, I found that if I wore them for like five or six hours, then they did start to just bug me just kind of around the ears. Um, they are pretty flexible here, so that is nice. Um, but after a really long time of wearing them, which, you know, that's probably true of any headphones if you wear them for for that long, they're probably going to uh, start to have some fatigue. Uh, but over a very long period of time, I did start to have just a little bit of a fatigue around my ears around this piece right here. But if you're only wearing them for like an hour or two, obviously that's not really going to be an issue at all. So now let's go ahead and talk about how well they connect to other devices. So as I mentioned earlier, I've been using them quite a bit with my Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. Now obviously here, there's not a whole lot of distance between the headphones themselves and what they're connected up to via Bluetooth. Bluetooth. And so I've really had zero instances where they've disconnected from that. Now I have tested them out uh, specifically with my Google Pixel 3 XL. That's the main phone I've been using them with. Um, and with that, I'm able to get about 30 meters away, um, roughly speaking. Um, actually, that's probably on the high end, more like 20 meters away. Um, so roughly around 60 feet. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I say I think they're probably using Bluetooth 4.2 because typically with Bluetooth 5.0 devices, I'm able to get a little bit further away, uh, but still the connectivity is pretty good. Um, after a while, maybe like I said, 20 meters, um, that's when you're going to start to get that disconnect. So you can't get too far away, but still 60 feet is quite a bit uh, with Bluetooth range. So overall, connectivity has been very good. All right, so normally at this point in the video, I would go ahead and talk about the battery life, but I've kind of already done that already. So again, 14 and a half hours is what you can expect. That's pretty much exactly what I've been getting. So that's enough said on that. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about is the phone call quality. And basically all I'm going to say with that is, yes, you can make phone calls with these. The microphone is going to be back here on this little module because it's just a little pinhole microphone and there's no other microphones blocking out any noise. It's going to pick up basically everything that's going on around you. So yes, you can use them for phone calls. Would I recommend them for phone calls? Probably not. If that's going to be a priority, then these definitely aren't really the best um, because they're going to pick up a lot of outside noise. They will pick up your voice quite well. Uh, but again, you're going to be need to be in a quiet environment to make phone calls on the bleak hummingbird wireless. All right, so now it's time to bring this review to a conclusion. So who are these for? Well, honestly, these are probably for someone who maybe is thinking about picking up some Jaybird X4s, but you don't want to spend the Jaybird X4 money for uh, some running headphones, then these are probably for you. These are honestly designed for athletes in mind. And so if you don't want to spend that money, but you still want a really good pair of Bluetooth headphones uh, that have some extra features like that ambient sound, also quick charge, um, then these could definitely be for you. Bleak Hummingbird Wireless, check them out again in the links down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.